In this edition of GIS Pro Tips, let's look at two tools we can use to narrow the spatial extent of raster data sets that we want to work with. In GIS work, many people use the term clip to describe this operation. And when wanting to accomplish this with raster data, we have two tools to choose from, but each yields a slightly different result. These tools are Clip Raster and Extract by Mask. For this pro tip, I'm once again working with land use land cover data from the National Land Cover Database, or NLCD. The NLCD is produced by the Multi-Resolution Land Characteristics Consortium, which is a group of federal agencies who work to generate consistent land cover information at the national scale. As you can see here, I'm starting with NLCD data for, the two th for 2016 for the entire state of Kansas but I'm only really interested in this data for some work I want to do with the Flint Hills ecoregion. Let's use both Clip Raster and Extract by Mask to pare down the spatial extent of the statewide data into a new and smaller raster data set and then compare the results. First, I'll use Clip Raster, which is designed to cut out a portion of a raster data set but based on a rectangular envelope using either a minimum or maximum set of XY coordinates or by using another file to define the spatial extent of interest. Once I've found and opened the clip raster tool, I'll pass three values to the required parameters, including the statewide NLCD data product for input raster, the Flint Hills boundary file for the output extent, and I'll make sure I like the name of my output and where it's being written to. This will take just a moment to process since I've hit run. Now that the output is in my uh, contents pane, I can see that Clip Raster did indeed accomplish the goal of cutting out a portion of the input raster, but that the output includes pixels that are outside of the Flint Hills boundary. The output here is rectangular and bound only by the spatial extent of the Flint Hills file and its minimum and maximum latitude and, and longitude. Next, let's apply Extract by Mask. Again, I'll pass in as the input raster, the statewide NLCD. For the input raster or feature mask data, the Flint Hills boundary file. And once again, I'll make sure I like that output name and hit run. Now that the output is in my contents pane, let me turn off the clipped version so we can see the output of extract by mask. This time the output raster set does, uh, data set does honor the boundary of the eco region. The only valid values in the output fall within the boundary of the Flint Hills. However, the true spatial extent of this raster file is exactly the same as that which was produced earlier with clip raster. While Clip Raster and Extract by Mask accomplish a similar task, the output is actually quite different. Choose which tool to use wisely depending on your cartographic or data analysis goals. I hope you found this GIS Pro Tip helpful. For more tips, follow Geography and Geospatial Sciences on Facebook or Twitter. And of course, if you want to learn even more, consider taking a GI science course at K-State, and you can even major in geographic information science and technology.